as a young girl growing up where I lived there was a a house like a family home of this couple but behind it there was a boys quarters where other families could live I don't know why it was called boys quarters because it wasn't just boys who lived there some families could live there as well but it was much cheaper apartments and there was a um, two people two girls they had the same name so when people came to the compound to ask for the girls they had to differentiate by either saying um, they want Mary or they want Mary boys quarters so her name became her surname became boys quarters so it was either is Mary in then we know which Mary or Mary boys quarters so we know which which Mary they were after so um Mary Magdalene her surname is not Magdalene she's Mary of Magdala she comes from Magdala but in those days so many Jewish women were called Mary even in the Bible there's so many Marys we it's, it's hard to to know which Mary is which, which Mary is this writer writing about here. So they were called Mary. So to differentiate between some other Marys, especially those who were following Jesus. So she became Mary Magdalene. So Mary of Magdala. So there's so much controversy around Mary Magdalene. I almost did not want to do her because there's so many things out there but i thought i should include her in my women of the bible series so mary magdalene what we do know a setting of is um seven demons were cast out of her by jesus now that may not be several seven literal demons it could just be that she had to be delivered she had to be prayed for intensively or because seven is like um, uh, the whole number so she her healing is complete she's been made whole or it could be that she had seven demons it's not unusual uh, the man in uh, gathering um, um legion he said his name was legion because there are so many demons in him so he she could have seven literal demons that were cast out but she became whole and as a um she was so grateful to god for her healing she became one of the followers of jesus and from what's been written about her in the bible she's quite well to do she's wealthy because she helped jesus in his ministry she followed him and it seems like she used her money regularly as well to help him to you know to help jesus ministry so she's quite uh wealthy and a well-to-do woman and um and apart from that some people say she is the um prostitute who washed jesus feet with her tears it's not certain that it's her so it, there must have been a tradition down the line somewhere where somebody just said mary magdalene is that prostitute we don't know for certain that that's the same mary and even the woman who washed Jesus' feet in the house of Simon the Pharisee was not named. She's just an unnamed sinner. So she wasn't given a name, but people have said it's Mary Magdalene. She was a prostitute. Some have said there was something untoward going on between her and Jesus. Lots of things, lots of things have, uh, have been told about Mary Magdalene. But what I do know is she was a follower of Jesus. She was uh, repentant and she was totally grateful for her healing, for her deliverance. And she helped Jesus' ministry. She is probably the Mary that uh, went to the tomb after G Jesus uh, was crucified. And um, she couldn't find his body. She is probably the Mary who saw... Um, someone i thought he was the gardener and said do you know where they've taken my lord's body i can't find him 
and the person said Mary you know she recognized that it was Jesus and when she wanted to hold on to him Jesus said don't touch me I've not yet gone up to my father she's probably that Mary but it wasn't specified in the Bible that it's Mary Magdalene but she's probably that Mary so there's so much about her you really have to do a research to know which Mary is which which Mary are they talking about but she appears to be really loved by Jesus she is commonly known as the apostle to the apostles you know so she was devoted she was dedicated in the ministry of Jesus and um, that's it really because I don't want to mix up my Marys I don't want to say she did this or she did that if it's not her but I'm sure there are some uh, biblical scholars out there that have done thorough research but it doesn't help that so many women are called Mary and they are not given surnames in the Bible so we just hear and the other Mary or it could be Mary of Beth Bethany you know Lazarus sister and there's Mary Magdalene and then you know there's Mary the mother of Jesus and there's other Marys so we don't know which Mary is which but Mary Magdalene um, so when God does something for you which he will do eventually you should um, be grateful you know many people they go to churches nowadays once they get their healing once they get the answer to their prayer they just fall away they 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 don't look back again they've gone because what they wanted they've already achieved it but not so Mary Magdalene Jesus cast out the demons from her she became a Jesus follower until the end she did not waver she did not backslide she did not turn back you know to whatever sin she may have been committing in the past which caused her to be possessed by these demons so this is just it about Mary Magdalene and we're now going to see the final final woman in this series of women of the Bible which is Mary the mother of Jesus God bless you thank you bye